What's up folks at home, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about throwing swim baits on a drop shot. I really like when the weather's like this, no wind, super calm, nice. I really love throwing a swim bait, a paddle tail swim bait, little ones on a drop shot to catch fish. Let's go underwater and check it out. All right, folks, first up, we have the Mega Bass Hazedong 4.2 Shad in Disco Stain or Green Pumpkin Shad. They're straight up killer swim baits on a drop shot. If I'm gonna take the boys out and have them go fishing, this is what they're gonna fish 90% of the time. It is a bite getter. It is subtle. It does a fantastic job of either straight swimming on the bottom or hopping up and down, depends what they want. A lot of times if you have vertical structure, this can be an amazing bait, but it has a very tight wobble and a good swim. It looks super, super realistic. It does a fantastic job. This is the bait that I'm going to throw nine times out of ten. The Hazedong Shad is just superior on a drop shot. You can see it has enticing action there on the fall and it just looks really really good. Second up we have the Mega Bass Spark Shad. Um, I really enjoy the Spark Shad in a lot of different sizes but for drop shotting I really like the three inch Spark Shad. I like them in laminate colors too this time of the year. I love 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 Baby Bass and the Spark Shad in clear water. It just you can see the see-through it shines and has flake in it. All those bluegill and things that are swimming around shallow as you see here really 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 are going to closely resemble that kind of fish and bait and I really do a good job on the spark shad either swimming it or hopping it up and down you can see ultra clear water it looks super fire in that tendency um, and it's just a bait that I have a lot of confidence in on the drop shot it's a keeled swim bait so it does a good job coming through all these schools of bait fish and looking like something that bass are really going to want to eat and sometimes you want subtle right so here we have the havoc sick fish in a three inch version um, this bait gets a lot of hate from swim bait guys but I find that the three inch version of this bait looks really really good on a drop shot it swims really good it has the big tail action and I find that it does a really good job for me in clear water while not a perfect swim bait this is a great application of it here not a lot of guys throw small swim baits on a drop shot most people throw you know do nothing worms or things like that I'm telling you though swimming a swim bait through clear water like this you will get bit on a drop shot nine times out of ten and you can see the bottom here it's not conducive for you know bottom contact things the drop shot keeps it up off the bottom out of the way and ready to get bit and it does so next up here we have the six cents fishing the whale in a three inch and I really 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 like the ice minnow color in this I like transparent baits in clear water this is an excellent swim bait it has a ton of action I really like to fall in vegetation holes with this bait right here now what you're gonna see here is this bait has an aggressive tail kick and wobble so it works good and is a very bigger profile bait for a drop shot it's funny you know it's a small three inch swim bait but it's got a bigger thicker robust profile and I like it in a little bit more off color water it just gives out a little bit more thump and a little bit more presence than the other baits we've talked about it does a good job for me uh, swimming through there tons of great colors from six cents too they make a nice swim bait uh, it just gets bit it's something that I have confidence in in that muddier condition when you still have calm water up here you have the strike king cutter worm in the Ned rig version of it, but it is a fantastic drop shot bait. It's super aggressive. It's got a nice tail kick and I really like it in green pumpkin. It's one of those things where a green pumpkin bait sometimes will get bit. You see a bass tracking it there in the background. I really, really just like to nose hook this bait. It comes through cover really, really well. As you can see, drop shot can be fished in cover. It can be fished in kind of these scattered uh, weed beds, things like that, that we're seeing here underwater. Green pumpkin is underrated. Up next is a bait that I keep in my tackle box specifically for this technique, and it's a multi-species bait. It's the Berkeley Powerbait Ripple Shad, three in, three and a half inch baits. I like it in fire, 
tiger here or white and black and it's just a killer action it's got a good scent on it it's a multi-species bait that i really feel like shines in this application it looks really really good and i like them because they have loud colors they're matte colors and loud colors they're not translucent i don't want translucent baits sometimes in dirty or off-colored waters or early in the morning or late at night and it's a literal killer on this bait in fire tiger or white and black i really enjoy the tail action on this bait it's really 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 shines here a lot of people don't like this bait a lot of guys don't don't throw it it's one of those baits that you know walmart has every time and that simply will catch fish in this presentation looks really 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 good underwater folks hope you learned something today check those swim baits out on omnia fishing Go support the channel, buy stuff from there. That's going to grow our channel. That's going to allow us to do more. Show your support by liking, subscribing. Hit that membership button. Help us help you guys. We'll see you out there next time.